all right guys so i know that i said i would not do another video about this topic and the reason why i said that is one because i'm actually tired of talking about it and two because i thought that the drama was coming to an end after the netflix walkout right against dave Chappelle. i thought that all right you know this is gonna calm down this is the climax however um i was wrong um apparently this thing is still continuing to escalate as uh, Dave Chappelle has come out and basically said that um, if Netflix takes down his special, he will go on a tour across the United States in protest of them taking down his special if they do that. Now, Netflix hasn't indicated that um, they're actually going to do that yet, even though the uh, co-CEO, Ted Serratos, essentially it's kind of bending the knee a little bit on it, but they haven't indicated they'll actually take it down. Um, and Dave Chappelle also said he's willing to uh talk with the woke mob right to actually have a real conversation about this stuff if they're willing to have a conversation right um so at this point um that's what's happening and this story right here um was just too juicy for me to not talk about and not pass up because like i said when it came to the john gruden situation everybody has skeletons in their closet if you open up any one of our private messages our emails group chats whatever we've all said things that um if came to the public light it probably wouldn't be a good look okay probably wouldn't be a good look okay and most of the time those that are the loudest tend to have the most in their closet as the activists behind the netflix walkout over the dave Chappelle comedy sec uh special has made bigoted tweets against asians and homosexuals in the past okay now when i'm talking about bigoted comments right we're not talking about like low light comments things that no, no no this person said the f word right the derogatory slur okay for a gay person now i'm not gonna show all those tweets i'm only gonna show some of the ones that are a little bit more tame but I will link this article in the description if you guys want to check out more information about what this person actually said. Now, I, I believe this person is a transgender person, but this person has said some really messed up things in the past. And I just find it ironic how because of something that Dave essentially started in regards to exposing people for things they've said in the past, this person is now getting exposed in the worst way possible because these tweets had come up before in the past she's been exposed for this before however they're being exposed again <laughs> after this person deleted it uh because of this person leading the Dave Chappelle walkout so we're gonna read a little bit about this and what she said Ashley Marie Preston the activist behind the team trans uh Netflix walkout over the Dave Chappelle comedy special has made a series of problematic tweets in the past screenshot of tweets she has made in the past have gone viral that reveal a deep seated hatred towards asians and homosexuals matt or Fali, who is a documentary filmmaker and, and journalist according to his twitter profile shared screenshots of her tweets where she can be seen expressing a desire to commit violence against homosexuals again now that screenshot i'm not going to include that because the things that she was saying was way over the line right so again you guys can look that up if you want to go see it what she was saying but she said the f word multiple times okay and talked about committing acts of violence against uh the lgbtq community okay this is what this person who's supposed to be so woke right so pro lgbtq said about her own people in the past right and hey according to these people um she has to take responsibility for that maybe she should be canceled forever right just like they did john gruden here is an example of uh one of her uh tweets that she said um that was violent she says bro i beat the dog ish out of you fairy slipper wearing a f boy in real life i smash your effing head like a can of a and w root beer but i'm gonna fall back and let you keep pretending for the internet blank rider okay <laughs> again yeah, this person again you know for accusing somebody like dave Chappelle of uh violence against the lgbtq community this person seems very prone to violence right they seem like they they are all about it okay 
A series of tweets also shows bigotry towards Asian Americans. In one tweet, she claimed that she had broken her phone on the head of an Asian woman. The tweets are littered with abuses of the worst kind. All right, so let's read this. Uh, one of these tweets says, Asian garden tools act like they won't get karate chopped in their mother effing throat. What is this garden tool staring at? Mind your beeswax. Hashtag female dog. Wow. Wow. Uh, Latino and Asian businesses need to stop being rude and effing disrespectful. And I know a lot. I know it's a lot to ask in California, but please speak effing English too. Whoa, that's textbook racism. They're, so not only is this person a homophobe, uh, that's what it seemed like according to their definition, right? Um, they're also racist, right? Racist against Asians and Latinos, right? Sounds to me like this person needs to be canceled. Okay, so I'm only going to read those two. You guys should get by now the gist of what this person said. Ashley Marie Preston has served as campaign surrogate for Elizabeth Warren during the latter uh, presidential campaign in 2020. It was then that her past tweets had uh, first surfaced, for which she issued an apology. Preston blamed her substance abuse for the tweets. She said in October 2019, quote, at the height of my meth addiction, Eight to nine years ago, I made a series of racially insensitive and homophobic tweets. I wasn't out yet and was dealing with internalized transphobia while homeless in a neighborhood where I felt culturally inferior. I'd stay up for days on end tweeting for and tweeting from an impaired conscious while shadow boxing via tweet with anyone who made me feel less feel less than. Quote, although those tweets were resurfaced as a political play, I take full responsibility for my actions and deeply apologize to those I've offended or hurt. I also apologize to those indirectly impacted by these developments. At over seven and a half years clean and sober, I've learned to make amends when I'm wrong and to take a complete accountability for my actions. I didn't have the education, information, mentorship, and cultural competence I have now. I've also I'm also not strung out on drugs and have a clean heart and mind today. She added. The tweet appeared to have been deleted since then. Okay, so look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. In the ideal world, you make this apology and people are like, oh, okay, great, right? Like, like let's move on from it. You're, you're forgiven. But that's not the world that we live in anymore, partly because of people like this person. And this person and people like her, the woke mob, have made it so when you say stuff like that in the past, right? Doesn't matter under what circumstance, you said it. If you say stuff like that, then you have to be canceled forever, Right. That means that that is an indictment on how you currently feel right now in the future. That's what happened to John Gruden. He lost his job over it. So maybe this person who knows, I mean, according to the woke mob, if they're going to be consistent on this, maybe she should lose her job. Right. Maybe she shouldn't be working for political campaigns. Maybe um, she is somebody that should be pushed towards the edge of society and forever categorized as a homophobic bigot. Because this is the type of language that she put out there. Not only was she saying things that were, again, homophobic and racist, but she also was talking about committing acts of violence against people, right? Based off their race, okay? Now, again, they set the precedent that this stuff, we can't forgive this. This is unforgivable, right? And they told us that jokes, Dave Chappelle jokes are violence, right? Even though he never called for any violence against anybody, okay? But she actually did. So what she said was like actual hate speech, actual hate speech and was stupid enough to leave the tweets up for this long and then to go out here knowing that she said this stuff in the past and call Dave Chappelle's jokes hate speech when she actually tweeted and put out hate speech. Again, it these people, the main ones that are talking the loudest, that have the most to say, that seem to be the most upset are the main ones with the most to hide and now she's trying to play the victimhood card saying well it's politically motivated every time somebody's tweets are looked up from years ago is always politically motivated you guys started that and you want people to feel bad about it you want you want to play the victim to try to say well i was internalized transphobia and blah 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 blah, and i was homeless and i was on drugs and all this and that no 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 you don't get the benefit of the doubt because nobody else gets the benefit of the doubt Right. If this was a white person that said this, they wouldn't get the benefit of the doubt. And, and hell, if it was a black male that said it, they wouldn't get the benefit of the doubt. A la Dave Chappelle. Nobody gets the benefit of the doubt. So therefore, you shouldn't get the benefit of the doubt. And it's crazy how after she said this stuff up, uh, 
she still got a job. She still was doing interviews. She still was doing all this other stuff, working on political campaigns like it was okay. When we have people, again, like John Gruden, who get canceled for saying stuff that's not nearly as bad as this. Not nearly as bad. This man lost his livelihood. He didn't say stuff not nearly. He did not call for any violence against anybody. Again, it, it, these people, it, it just blows my mind who in this society really has the privilege. For everybody wants to go, white privilege, white privilege. Bro, I'm not seeing it, dog. Privilege is when you can say stuff like this that's worse than something that a white man can say, but yet you still can get a job. You still can feed your family. You're not canceled. But if a white man was to say this, again, or a black man, you, you'd be canceled. So again, you know, in my opinion, because the woke mob says that people should be canceled for saying stuff like this, this person should be canceled for saying stuff like this, right? Maybe she shouldn't be allowed to get a job anymore. I'm just saying, in my ideal world, it wouldn't work like that. But this is the world that they've set up that we're in right now. So I guess this is how it got to be, right? Uh, you made your bed and then you got to lay in it. And to be quite honest with you guys, um, I have no sympathy or remorse for these tweets and the fact that this person said this in the past is coming back up now that this person is leading this um, protest against Dave Chappelle, right? Basically calling for them to get canceled, even though they're saying they're not, they actually really are low key, right? So again, hey, you know, if this the game that they want to play, we can play that game because everybody has skeletons in their closet. And these skeletons are way worse than any joke that Dave Chappelle has ever made, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.